In pursuit of our dreams, we usually end up at crossroads where critical decisions must be made and leaps of faith must be taken. Most people who end up choosing the most comfortable part and are always not ready to do something extraordinary because the price seems too great to pay. One thing that's characterized successful young entrepreneurs in Africa for a long time is the willingness to give all they have for what they believe in. And the story of Bankole Kadoso isn't any different. He was born in Lagos to a banker, Folabi Emmanuel Kadoso, and a medical doctor, Ameyo Adadevo. He attended the Corona School in Kohi for his primary education and Grange Secondary School, both in Lagos, before going to the United Kingdom for his GCSE and A levels. Afterwards, he moved to the United States for his university education, attending the Boston College to study accounting and business management, and he graduated in 2010. After his graduation, he moved to New York City to work as an associate at the PricewaterhouseCoopers PwC, where he earned his CPA, Certified Public Accountant Credentials. Bancoli later switched to private equity, joining the Global Market Strategies Group at the Carrick Group, where he worked for 18 months before finally moving back to Nigeria. Prior to his return to Nigeria, Bancoli was looking forward to moving to other emerging economies at the time, and so he started studying the African economy and the prospect of his numerous business ideas and how they would thrive in those economies. And all his research pointed him back home to Nigeria. But it wasn't an easy decision to make, leaving a well-paying job and the luxury and comfort of a stable economy. Nonetheless, he believed in himself and his ambition to build the next big thing, and that he did. Kadoso started Easy Taxi in Nigeria in 2013 because he wanted a simple way of aiding commuting in Lagos. He also mentioned that he had hoped to standardize price of taxis around the country. Easy Taxi under his watch grew to be one of the most used taxi hailing hubs in Lagos as well as Abuja. Currently present in 30 countries, Nigeria was the first country to launch it in Africa and currently has a network of over 400 drivers in Lagos with services extended to Abuja. Although still affiliated with the company, he stepped down as the CEO in January 2015. To prove his point further that he has a lot to offer the Nigerian economy, in 2015 he became the head of global communications for Jumia, another rocket internet-based company. At Jumia, Bankoli launched the first edition of the MTN Entrepreneurship Challenge powered by Jumia in 13 African countries. He was in the position to 2016, after which he became the director of Simply Arts Media, a position he is currently holding. Bankoli heads the executive team of the Dr. Ameyo Stella Dadevo Drasa Health Trust, with the mission of keeping the society safe from public health threats through the advancement of infection control practices, hygiene and sanitation, and outbreak preparedness measures. In 2014, Bankoli was featured on CNN Africa's Start Up, where he talked about his entrepreneurial journey. With Easy Taxi Nigeria. Bankoli was also named in Forbes' 2014 list of 30 most promising young entrepreneurs in Africa. He also served as an MBA investment associate at Corona Capital in 2017. One unique thing about Bankoli is how he has been able to turn all his numerous business involvement into a learning platform and has turned the experiences gained from them into a stepping stone to propel him into being one of the renowned business developers and entrepreneurs in Nigeria barely seven years after his return to the country. Is a claim to have great skills in financial modeling, entrepreneurship, and private equity. Bankoli's growth and continuous rise to the top of Nigeria's entrepreneurial chain is not short of his persistence, hard work, consistency, and passion for one day morphing the Nigerian economy into a formidable and recognizable force in world economy. He continues to learn and develop landmark businesses that will help him achieve this. The key highlights to note from his stories are his critical discernment of maximizing opportunity as and when they present themselves, and the unfailing courage to launch forward to the future and take a risk on building something new. It is safe to say that Bankoli Kadosu, young as he may be, has learned quite a lot about becoming the man that can inspire Africa into its next era of economic breakthrough. His stories and inspiration to young and upcoming entrepreneurs that the world impossible is only defined by the broadness of your mind. Join us on the next episode of African Success Stories for more interesting and inspiring insights on Africa's young entrepreneurs. Till then, remember, your dreams are not big enough if they don't scare you. But what would you do with that fear? Leap or leave? Cheerio.